Hi, welcome everybody again to another jam gaming tutorial. Um, it's been a while, yes, I mean, know, I know it's been a while, but I'm there again. All right, so just an update for one of my videos um, how to control a PS, um, connect a PS3 controller um, without motion joy. Um, I notice I'm not found to have problems with this method, so I'm gonna find a different method. Um, with motion joy, unfortunately, um, or with motion joy, but basically, there are some things that you need to do. Um, I got just go through it with you. Uh, one thing where you need to do the most important thing after disable your signature enforcer, your driver signature enforcer. So, basically, in a Windows 10, um, they put that in it so that the the PS3 controller now pick up quick fix how to fix it um, go to your windows fit to, to settings um, click on update and security you go to recovery and then you click on restart now so when I click on restart now I go switch to my phone and show you the steps the rest of the steps then we have got you all right guys so basically this is what going come up when take up and restart now i don't know if i not see it properly but i'm a phone may i use all right so sorry for the shitty part of the video all right so next thing we need to do is just click on troubleshoot advanced options and then you click on startup settings once you click on startup settings uh, you just click restart then give it a couple of seconds to restart all right so once once it restart um this are the the menu you're gonna see will come up um basically what you want to do is this one you want number seven um disable driver signature enforcement so it's a all you need to do is press f1 to whatever the number key so this one is seven so you go press F7 and then it start up back windows. So I'm gonna switch back to the PC now. Alright, so once we restart, then we're going to want um two software. We want uh the motion dry and we're going to want better DS uh, better DS3 tools. So we're gonna just go um search for the motion dry. Um, I'm going to set a link in the description still so it just carry us straight to this website all right so you click on download the motion joy right, you save it or open it whatever I'm not going to save it because I already have it so click on download the DS3 tools and download it and, or whatever I'm not going to save it all right so now that we have those all right so once we install the motion motion joy this is the next step what we're going to do is plug in the, the control the ps3 control and then we click on device manager all right so once you click on device manager then you're going to see um and if your control plug in then you're going to see the port um whichever usb you plug it in it will be different so you just simply tick here and load driver uh, install this driver anyway trust me now go be no now go harm your computer or anything all right so once you install it and it's successful then you're going to see the tick right here so now that you install you don't need this again just close that then you the better ds3 tools that you download you're going in you're going. all right so once it's here simply just click on this then you click new and then you select the x input which is the xbox input then this box comes up um you don't really need to set nothing all you need to do is just click the auto fill xbox 360 button 
and then it will automatically um, fill all of the button for you so there you go you type in the name of the profile that you want and you click save profile all right so then you save profile All right, so simply if you check if it'll work click on control panel properties and then there you go all the buttons are pressed stick or move d-pad trigger button all of that so there you go guys if you have any questions you type them in the, the comment section again so like comment and subscribe please